Back to 7 at 4, Valley Church in Roanoke opening their new Youth Ministry Center this Thursday, that is June the 6th. Here to tell us all about it, grand opening and all that goodies, Senior Pastor Jason Cook. How are you, Pastor Jason? Man, I'm doing great. Doing uh, great. And uh, man, you guys, I was looking at some of the pictures there. This is an amazing looking building. Before we kind of get into that, tell us a little bit about what is Valley Church? Where are you guys and, and what you're about? We sit at 8100 Angel Lane, uh, right off 81 in North Roanoke. Um, Valley Church is a Pentecostal charismatic church, uh, incredible pastor. <laughs> and, you know, we, we just, we're, we're a fast growing church in the last couple of years. Um, we've doubled. Yeah. Um, and, and God is just continuing to bless us. And, um, and here we are getting ready to cut the ribbon on a new building. Yeah. And uh, you we were just talking a minute ago, a year and a half or so, um, I guess, when this when this first came to be. And here we are um, about to cut the ribbon on this thing. Yeah. And and it, it is, is gorgeous. Tell us a little bit about the process and getting up to this Thursday. Well, we you know, as the church was growing, we we sat down with our leaders and we discussed, hey, what is our immediate need? Mm -hmm. And we had so many young families and so many kids in the way that our church was is built, we didn't have the room for the children. So our immediate need was to make room for the kids. Right. And so we, we've, we've, we're having three services on Sunday morning to accommodate the adults in parking. And three uh, services every Sunday. Every Sunday. Holy smokes, you guys are growing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a, dis it's a different conditioning process. Yeah. So. And, and you're looking at some of the pictures here. I mean, beautiful, very colorful and everything. Uh, top, top of the line um, technology and everything. And, and that's, look, you can't grow a church without the next generation. That's right. And, and a lot of times, too, uh, when, when, when the church is, uh, sadly, a lot of them kind of old and white looking from the background, you need that youth in there. Yeah. Um, because once, once folks start aging out and, and passing on, who are we leaving it to? That's right. That's right. You know, in our kids today, we believe that they're being bombarded from many different directions on choices, decisions. Um, we find a lot of our kids confused. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do at Valley Church, we want to come alongside our parents and we, we want to be wind in their sails. You know, we want to raise our kids in, 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 the, in the ways of the scripture. We want to raise godly uh, young men and young women. And, and sometimes that culture gets tough. And so we, we've adopted the concept that we're going to compete for the culture of our kids. Mm -hmm. And so we just put our money where our mouth is. Let's, let's start with the kids building. And so... With all that concept, we, we believe that the greatest message in the history of the world is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, and, and so we, we're doing our best to get that message out. Mm -hmm. And we believe that setting a strong foundation in, in, a, in a young person, helping parents to also set that foundation, we believe the future is going to pay major dividends. What is it? Uh, a quiver full of arrows, right? That's right. You got to shoot them out. Our, our kids are, are the arrows yep. and we want to pull the, uh, that bow back one day and shoot it. And we want to hit the target. Strong. That's right. Uh, so this Thursday, uh, I was watching a little bit of, um, of your, uh, your announcements this past Sunday. And I, I mean, I could feel the excitement was, I mean, it was jumping off the screen there. Uh, you guys aren't excited at all about cutting the ribbon on we, this thing, are you? We, we are ready to cut. We got scissors in hand right now. Big scissors, we're little ready. scissors, right. perforated we, scissors. Anything that'll cut. Oh, there we go. Anything you cut, head shears, whatever. <laughs> I'm about to say you are near Gander Mountain, so you just you, know, you slice them up, <laughs> or the old Gander Mountain. But uh, yeah. uh, so, what what is uh, Thursday going to entail? Well, we're going to start in the sanctuary at 6:30. Mm -hmm. We're bringing in some special guests, former pastors, former leaders that built the foundation for us. Uh, I've got my denominational leaders coming in. Uh, we're introducing a new song for our congregation, "If the Lord Builds the House," and uh, our worship leader Corey Barnes is going to blow the roof off with that. And then we're going to come outside for a ceremony outside of, of the exchanging of the keys from the builder to my legacy board, to my trustees, to my hands. I'm going to put that in my, my children's pastor's hands. We have a full-time children's pastor. And, and we, we, believe it, that we believe in it that much that we hired somebody full-time. And, and uh, Trey Ashworth is doing an incredible job. And we're going to open that door. And then once, once that door is open, the rest of the evening is an open house mm -hmm. for people to come and tour and see. And... and um, I think there's going to be a lot of kids running through that building. I'm about right to say, it's gonna, they're going to be wide open. <laughs> it's it's going <laughs> like to be exciting. Ping pong balls bouncing off of that yes, thing. Yes. Uh, for, for anybody that maybe can't make it on Thursday and they want to get piped into the church, they want to get connected in, they want to get their kids in there, maybe a new young family, how yeah. can they do that? Well, everybody's asked me, 
why are you doing this on a Thursday night? Mm-hmm. Because, well, we used to have, a, we, we have our small groups on Wednesdays, and we, we went ahead and said, we're not going to do small groups on Wednesdays. All of our eggs are going into the basket of Thursday evening. And we want Sunday to be a regular Sunday. Okay. There's so much going on at Valley. If we put a grand opening on Sunday, it would really m- kind of mess up what we do on our, with our systems. All right. And so Sunday morning, we are actually changing our service times to accommodate serving people better. We have an eight o'clock. I mean, we have an eight o'clock service that is now eight twenty-five, and yeah. we we call that a classic service. And we bring the old songs. The hymns. Well, not hymns. No. And we're, we're a combination between Southern gospel and gospel, and it's it's a, Valley Church is a great mix. Of okay. Cultures. And uh, and then we have a nine uh, fifty-five service, mm-hmm. and then we have an eleven thirty-five service. And so children's ministry will be available for all three services. There you go. So get on out there, uh, and like if you, if you're. Peyton.